Hello everyone, a warm welcome to you. Thank you for watching Calkine TV. I'm Sage and this is the Smart Market Insights Show. Australia has been one of the many countries that are caught in an inflationary spiral, you may have noticed. The Reserve Bank has also acknowledged the problem, stating that the United States and Australia have been experiencing the highest rates of inflation seen for many decades. The unfortunate circumstances in Ukraine have resulted in drastic changes to the global economy, including a shift in the existing supply chain ecosystem. For Australia, a tight labour market has helped maintain some stability amid the ongoing crisis. The unemployment rate in the country stands at a record low, while wages are increasing slowly. A mix of these goods and bad factors have forced policymakers to devise a unique setup to fight inflation. So, how will minimum wage hike impact inflation and Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision? A wider view suggests that inflation is a global story and Australia has only seen a fraction of the real problem. Even in the past, the Australian economy has narrowly escaped the repercussions of a slowing global economy. For instance, when countries were wading around the after effects of the global financial crisis, Australia was in a relatively better position. However, the latest inflationary wave sees no end in sight and the Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to continue its monetary policy tightening spree until it reaches the inflation target. Until then, consumers will have to manage their higher prices and rising loan repayments. Let's take a look at the current inflation rate in Australia. Inflation in Australia has been at a worrying level. It's close to 5.1% in headline terms over the year to March 2022's quarter. In underlying terms, the inflation rate reached 3.7% in the March quarter, the highest in a long time. Overall, the inflation data released by the Australian Bureau of Statistics has surpassed all previous expectations. The market had not been prepared for such a steep rise in inflation in both headline and underlying terms. And meanwhile, this higher than expected inflation is not just Australia's problem. The issue at hand is largely a result of powerful global factors that may not resolve anytime soon. So what can we expect from interest rates? The Reserve Bank of Australia lifted the cash rate by 50 basis points in June 2022 in the second hike in over a decade. The policy action seems to be decisive in the present climate, which possibly prompted a larger than expected rate hike from the central bank. The central bank has set the inflation target as 2 to 3 per cent, which it aims to achieve through monetary policy. And certainly the target inflation band seems far away at present, which means that further changes might be needed in the monetary policy. Speculations are rife that the interest rate could reach 2.5% in the coming years. And more aggressive forecasts suggest that the cash rate may reach 3.5% by the end of this year. This could be a possibility if the RBA continues to conduct bigger rate hikes of 50 basis points or more in the upcoming monetary policy meetings. Additionally, some forecasts suggest that the bank may raise the rates by even a painful 0.75% in the next month or so. Can the economy adjust to higher interest rates though? The central bank is hopeful that the Australian economy can absorb the higher interest rates. However, there are several factors creating uncertainty in the economy, including recession worries across the United States that have created havoc in the financial markets. And meanwhile, Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Philip Lowe believes that the economy is in a good enough condition owing to the low unemployment rate. He further stated that the rebound from the pandemic would help keep the economy buoyant in the coming months. However, the Australian economy could face its toughest test when interest rates reach the extraordinarily high levels and households exhaust all their savings. But with the labour market providing some stability, the return to normal monetary conditions may not be as tough as expected. And meanwhile, the pandemic has given the invaluable lesson of being prepared for the worst. And therefore, the policymakers could account for all possibilities. Well, that's all for now. Thank you so much for your company on that report. We will be back soon with the next exclusive Smart Markets episode for you. Until then, keep watching Calkine TV for the latest market updates and related insights. Sage here signing off for now.